Hey guys, Amber Elise here. Welcome back to my channel where you can find all things hair, makeup, and product review related. So from the title, as you can see, I am going to be showing you guys what my wash day routine consists of and what it is like. So before I get into that, I did want to go ahead and come on camera because I noticed I did leave out some important things and I just simply forgot to mention them in the video because I was just trying to make sure I got the video done. This video has been long awaited and honestly, this is something that should have been on my channel at the very beginning. You guys have been asking me for this and I have been just kind of putting it off, not intentionally, but just trying to figure out a setup for you guys to be able to actually really see exactly what I do when I do my wash day. And I wanted to show you two products that have recently cut down on a lot of shedding and a lot of breakage that I was noticing that I was getting. So my hair was still pretty much on the healthy side. However, I was getting a little bit more shedding than I was wanting to get. And so I did go ahead and start back using a product that is a oldie but goodie. And it is the Blue Magic Conditioner Hairdress. And also a product that was sent to me from a company that I have already reviewed on my channel. So I will be linking the video somewhere up here and I will also be linking it down in the description box below just in case you want to check out the ways that you can use it. I did a full detailed review on it and it is the Strengthen and Lengthen Herbal Hair Rinse slash Leave-In Concentrate by OLP Cosmetics. All right, and so now that we've gotten all of that information out of the way, let's hop right into the video. All right, so first things first, I always start off with my hair twisted up in some type of pre-poo, either aloe vera or a conditioner. And today I'm using the Dye Feel Biotin Pro Growth Conditioner. And then I'll also be washing with the Biotin and Collagen Shampoo and then deep conditioning with the Biotin Dye Feel um, Hair Mask. So that green bottle just contains water mixed in with that leave-in concentrate that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and begin washing out all of that Biotin conditioner that I used as a pre-poo. I have noticed that I have been using a lot of biotin and castor oil products lately and the dye feel biotin conditioner and the deep conditioner that I used today that was actually a product that I was trying out for the first time and I was very satisfied with both of those products because my hair was left hydrated and it was very soft. Here I just wanted to show you how bouncy and healthy and hydrated my hair looked after washing off that biotin conditioner. And so I usually leave that on for about anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and then I go ahead and hop in the shower and start my wash day. Now I'm taking one of my favorite shampoos from one of my favorite brands, which is Wimpure. I'm using the biotin and collagen um, shampoo, and I'm going to be cleansing just my scalp area. And I'm also going to do this process twice. So I like to split my hair down the middle and work in smaller sections. And as you're going to see, I'm just going to really focus that product into my scalp area. I don't like to put this along the um, twist because I don't like for my hair to be dried out. And so even though this is a really good cleanser, my hair is still left moisturized, but it is one of those products that can be very stripping, which is why I don't like to run this along the length of my hair. And so again, like I said, I'm going to be doing this twice and I'm also going to only be focusing on this scalp area. And I also wanted to just include a quick tip. If you are a type for natural, I don't, I don't um, recommend that you wash your hair anywhere else but in the shower I have learned that putting my hair into smaller twists and working in smaller sections has caused my hair to grow tremendously when I was trying to wash my hair over in the sink I was just pretty much getting a lot of tangles that way so I have found that doing my hair this way has definitely promoted hair growth All right, and so I'm just gonna take that green spray bottle which has the leave-in concentrate slash herbal rinse and I'm also gonna have some water mixed in with that and you're just gonna see me spraying that in the scalp area and I'm also gonna run that along the length of my twist and then I'm also gonna go ahead and start just doing the um, cleansing process with the shampoo on the other side of my hair and then you'll see a longer version of me using that leave-in and that water mixture later. I also almost forgot to mention that my hair has already been detangled and that was done during my pre poo process. So whether or not I'm using my aloe vera or I'm going to be using my conditioner for the day, I like to go ahead and get all of my, um, I like to go ahead and get all of that detangling done before getting into the shower. 
And I did want to go ahead and mention that I do use warmer water to wash my hair just to make sure that my hair strands are open and making sure that you know all of that gunk and product is getting washed out. And now I'm just taking that hair rinse and I'm really focusing it in on the scalp area again. And I'll just take my fingers and kind of lightly massage that just to get some blood circulation going and also to promote hair growth. And once I get done with that process, I'm pretty much just going to tie the hair back. And I usually just let this sit for a couple of minutes and then I'll go ahead and rinse it off. Now this is not a normal part of my routine, but I did want to just go ahead and take down a couple of those twists to just give myself a link check and also to show you guys where my hair currently is. And so like I said, I usually don't take down any of my twists in the shower, but I did want to just do that link check. I'm just pretty much showing you the length of my hair when it is dry and I'm out of the shower and I am now about to go ahead and use that biotin um, deep conditioner and I'm just going to show you me working that into my hair and I really like to take my time with this process and really work that into the scalp area as well as the hair and then I'm just going to twist it down and I'm probably only going to include one clip of this because I pretty much just do that with each twist that you saw earlier. And so this is what my hair looks like once I go through all of those twists and I just add the deep conditioner. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a plastic bag to get some heat generated and then I'll also put my bonnet on top of that. And I did sleep with this on my hair because I wasn't going to do um, the rest of my hair until the next day. It was pretty late. So that's pretty much what my um, wash day routine consists of. And then in the next clip, I'm just going to go ahead and show you me washing this out in the sink. So when I wash off my deep conditioner, I pretty much have the water as cold as I can stand it to go ahead and close up, you know, the hair strands. And so I pretty much just um, like to keep my hair in these twists because as you can see, the rest of the shed hair just kind of slips out when I do this and it keeps me from causing any other extra breakage. Now earlier I mentioned that I don't recommend type 4s to um, wash the hair in the sink. This is the only step that pretty much can have a pass. Um, just washing off the deep conditioner isn't going to hurt. But like I said, I still do recommend that you still keep those smaller twists just so don't you don't, you know, cause any tangles. But I pretty much just use this um, method to wash off my deep conditioner. But this is the only time that I will pretty much wash my hair in the sink. And so this is pretty much the end of the video. I want to thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this video helped you out a lot. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I will see you all in my next video.